Hey guys, Drew Chacon here. I'm here with Vagabond Fly Magazine. I'm going to tie a Tuscan bunny There's for Elliot, guys. Colin's uh, really? son, for his birthday. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start this black two tendon ear right at the point. I'm going to take a piece of 30 pound mono. Robert knows that I have this mission to get punch it through that hole we made in the donker strip, okay? Well, yeah, I would. We're going to tie the mono in first. Okay. Well, you, you know him just as well as I do, if not better. Yeah, but I think and then I'm going to take the rabbit strip, the leather, stroke this fur back. I'm going to tie that right on top. Okay? Okay. Get that lashed in real good. Yeah. And then I'm going to pull this mono forward and just make a loop. See it under there? And once it's kind of tipped up, I'm going to tie my mono down, get it right on top of the shank of the hook, and wrap back to cover where we tied in that rabbit. So give it a little pop. Trish, I can just walk down. It's going to bend this up. I'm going to bend this side up, clip it right off. Okay? Now I'm going to bring this thread right back to where the loop starts, and I'm going to make a thread loop and close the legs. So now this is tied off, okay? Well, Let's bring it right Judith to the, the front of where that uh, mono was tied in. And I'm going to throw this little dubbing tool on there. And we're going to take our rabbit strip, and I'm going to pinch it between my thumb and ring finger, and my index finger and middle finger. That'll allow me to kind of grab that strip and stroke all this fur out of the way. Okay. And I can take this bulldog clip, slide it in, and I got all the fur trap in there. Now I can cut the leather strip off, even it up, like that. Wait, you said you still fly fish. Now I'm going to open up this loop. Okay, so fly fish. Because I know that there's like Easter. Put my yeah. rabbit spur in there. Right, but it flies. Kind of back it out a little bit. Let it go. I just use my finger to even it up, kind of slide it up to where the loop starts. And I'm going to give it about 40 or 50 turns with this. And that's going to trap it between those two thread legs and make, in essence, a dubbing brush out of rabbit. But it's a lot more flexible. And we don't get the weight. If we were to palmer that leather strip on, and we don't get the wire, if we were going to just use a regular um, dubbing brush. So once we got that on there, we're going to pop it a couple of times, make sure it's all fluffed out. Now I'm going to wrap it around and cover up that mono. Just palmer it forward and stroke that the fur out of the way until we run out of dubbing loop. Okay. Throw this over a couple times, tie it off. And I pull it all back like this. Put a few wraps over the top so that doesn't come out. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some of this cut foam. This is just two mil foam. And I cut it with a pasta cutter. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Black strip foam, kind of use your hand, tap it down, get them kind of even. It's not going to really matter because we're going to trim them up anyways. I'm going to lay them right on top and we're going to spin them just like we're doing deer hair. So I'm going to make a couple loose wraps and I'm going to kind of work it back and forth and then I'm going to lash it down tight. Okay? Now I'm going to make about 10 wraps to get it on there. And then I'm going to start working it through. I'm going to pull a couple more back. And I'm going to make about 10 more wraps. I'm going to pull these out of the way here. And I'm going to pull a few more forward. And just grab those last couple. And just get them kind of lined up where you want them. Pull it all back. And I'm going to make a thread dam. It's going to hold all this stuff back where I want it. Okay? 
It's kind of hard to see if I put my leg underneath, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of building that up to hold this all back, okay? I'm going to whip finish this off. And I'm just going to pull them out. And I'm going to start by flattening out the bottom, okay? Cut a few of these off. And then I'm going to go like this, line it up with the scissors on the front of the eye, and I'm going to start rolling it around. It's just like trimming deer hair. The difference is this is going to suspend in the water, and a lot of times I'll kind of pull that fur out of the way like that so I don't nick the fur. Just kind of pull them up and out of the way until you get kind of that knobby head like that. And what that's going to do is it'll move water in all kinds of weird directions over all these little bumps, and it'll make this tail swim. Uh, I'm going to the last one. And that's the shape we want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loon, and I'm going to get right in there, the eye of the hook. Quick shot. That's it, that's my Tuscan bunny.